All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Sure. My name is Craig Arcioli, and I'm the Director of Marketing and Business Development at the RBB Fund, a low-cost turnkey platform to launch an ETF and or a mutual fund. I'm excited to be joined by two gentlemen that represent interesting but separate segments of the market today. They're coming together to offer RIAs, a private wealth firms, a way to bring their novel active managed strategies to the market within an ETF wrapper. Let me bring in Alexander Berg, the CEO of Index One, and Simon Goulet, co-founder of the Blue Tractor Group. Alex, tell me about yourself and Index One. Certainly. Thanks, Craig. Um, so I founded Index One to streamline the effort to develop, test, and maintain novel portfolio indices. Uh, our typical client is usually an RIA who's developed an automated or systematic approach to stock picking. For example, they like to use a number of quantitative factors to select new security when balancing their portfolio. And they might wish to streamline this process by moving it into a customized index that they can use to operationalize their strategy at scale, uh, allowing them to spend less time managing the nuts and bolts of strategy and more time focused on relationship building with their current clients, prospective new clients, and growing their AUM. Uh, we run a cloud-hosted solution which allows advisors to develop bespoke indices efficiently and cost effectively with a minimum time and effort. Oh, thank you, Alexander. Uh, Simon, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and Blue Tractor. Yeah, thanks, Craig. It's a pleasure to be here today speaking with both you and Alex. Uh, based in New York City, uh, Blue Tractor has developed an SEC approved ETF structure that an active manager can use to launch an ETF, but importantly, always still protects their confidential portfolio and information from the capital markets. This flavor of, e of ETF is commonly referred to as semi-transparent versus the traditional fully transparent ETF. It is a fast growing new segment of the actively managed ETF space. Uh, Blue, at Blue Tractor, we've helped active advisors and RIAs and wealth managers lost, launch ETFs on both NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Simon. Uh, Alexander, uh, when I think about indexes, I think about passive strategies. But when I, I've read a lot about your organization and, and learned more uh, from you, uh, people refer to what you're doing as active indexing. Just tell me what that means and, and provide a little color around the active indexing. Sure, sure, yeah. So a better term than active indexing would be custom or bespoke indexing of an advisor's actively managed strategy. So to put it in more simple terms, um, index one can process and transform an actively managed strategy into a fully customizable index. So on the surface, the index looks like a typical index, but in reality, it's been developed to reflect the underlying active strategy of the manager. So the resulting index can be used to track fund performance or benchmark performance or used for fund marketing purposes. As, a, as an example, let's say you're an advisor that's now running a systematic strategy that's driven by a proprietary model composed of rules, and factors to determine when to build a position or when to exit from one. These factors could be metrics like dividend yield, P ratio or macro signals like interest rates or consumer confidence. Um, and you've implemented this into a composite of SMAs or mutual funds across many different client accounts. So you'd currently have to gather all the data, run your models, test the output, and then implement the portfolio changes on a client level, at which point this starts to get inefficient to manage um, and starts to take up more time of your day, leaving you less time to focus on uh, clients and AUM and raising funds. So with, with our solution, you can take all of that operational burden away in one swoop and turn it into a bespoke index that you own, control, and manage, uh, which lets you then launch an ETF based on that strategy. Fascinating. And uh, Simon, uh, just talk to us a little bit about the ETF industry and the structure and, and uh, why this makes most sense to implement this within an ETF today. 
Absolutely. We have so many conversations with RIAs and wealth managers today about what is happening in the ETF space. And it's clear that over the last couple of years and year to date that investment flows are indicating that the actively managed ETFs are winning market share away from traditional active mutual funds. And there's really three reasons why this is happening. Um, number one, ETFs are typically less expensive for an investor than a mutual fund because there's less administration fees and other fees such as 12B1 fees, they all go away. This lower cost can then be transferred to the investor uh, with, a, uh, with a much lower total expense ratio. Number two, versus a mutual fund, an ETF is a very liquid instrument because it trades on, a, on a, an exchange like NASDAQ or SIBO or New York. And that means your, your investors, your clients can access their ETF at any point during the market trading day on numerous platforms, be it Robinhood, Schwab, et cetera, et cetera. And then unlike a mutual fund, they don't need to wait till the market closed to get their price, whether they're buying or selling. And number three, and probably most importantly, ETFs are very, very tax efficient. The inherent structure of an ETF allows the manager, an active manager, uh, when capturing capital gains, to flush them out of the ETF and rid at the fund level all uh, embedded capital gains. This, unlike a mutual fund, with an ETF, you will never, ever, very likely have to send out a 1099 div form to your investors with a with a capital gain. And investors like that very, very much. So it's for those three reasons, Craig, that ETFs are really the dominant wrapper today. You know that all that all makes sense, and I'm seeing a lot of the same in in my own segment of the of the market. Uh, but Simon, talk to me a little bit more about semi transparent and and why Blue Tractor and and why this uh, relationship with Index One makes makes sense in that regard. Well, exactly, exactly, Chris. So let's say you know you've decided to go with Index One. You've decided to wrap your active strategy into a bespoke or customized index, and now you want to launch a CTF. Okay, you really have two choices at this point. You can go left and go fully transparent, which is the traditional way that ETFs have always been, or you can go right and enter the new burgeoning semi-transparent ETF space. All right. Now, the difference is it, it, fully transparent means that every day the ETF must publish its full portfolio, meaning all its actual holdings and ex exact uh, holding weightings. Now, in a traditional index or passive strategy ETF, that's okay because you're tracking a published index. So really who cares if you have to publish the full exact portfolio because it's already out there in the index. However, in active land, many managers are leery of full publication of their strategy. Why? Because that allows potentially predatory traders to front run and free ride your strategy. And as an active manager who's developed a proprietary process, that's really, really not very, very appealing. So what the SEC al has allowed is firms like Blue Tractor to bring to market what's called a semi-transparent wrapper. And what that means is that the, an, an active manager using the Blue Tractor wrapper does not need to publish on a daily basis its full portfolio. So unlike the fully transparent ETF, with a semi-transparent ETF, you are not required to publish every day your full portfolio. Instead, the SEC allows you to use a wrapper like Blue Tractor and publish what's called a replication or um, representative, representative uh, portfolio that kind of mimics the, the full portfolio, but doesn't give away the exact weightings of the portfolio. So it provides the capital markets with the information they, they still require efficiently trade and price your ETF, but always obscuring your actual portfolio. That's the benefit to an active manager of going semi-transparent, Craig. Oh, thank you very much. I mean, uh, it makes sense. Uh, and Alexander, talk to me a little bit more about Index One and how you support RA's efforts to, to launch an ETF. Sure, yeah. So we, we support our clients from sort of the ideation of a strategy to actually running and executing on the strategy. So our platform allows for the design and backtesting and optimization of the strategy. So you can validate 
uh, if it works as intended over different time periods or market conditions. Uh, developing the strategy using our tools is also very rapid. Um, so it decreases your time to market, frees up time for other activities or developing other products. And uh, finally, we're also very cognizant of the fact that uh, these firms already spend a lot of money on data or other solution providers. And using our automated tool, we've, we've made it very cost efficient to um, construct and maintain these, these strategies on our, on our system. Uh, and once, once the strategy is, is developed and launched, it runs essentially automatically on our platform. So rebalancing and calculation is fully automated. Um, and at that point, it can then be integrated with uh, other solutions or uh, yeah, rebalancing software or firms like uh, Blue Tractor and RBB for development of an ETF. No, that's that's very fascinating to see what's happening in the in the market with both semi-transparent ETFs and now this is uh, an intersection between that growing segment of the market and custom indexing. So I think what you folks are collaborating on is very interesting. Uh, how do people get more information from from your side, uh, Alex? Uh, most easily just through our our website, indexone.io. Um, where you can find all our contact details or self sign up to our service and kind of get a feel of how it works. Simon? Exactly. Uh, bluetractorgroup.com. Uh, you can email me directly, Simon at bluetractorgroup.com. And I look forward to conversations. Perfect. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks. Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Alex. A low fund, uh, hold on, start over, sorry. We're gonna have a ton of bloopers for G. <laughs> <laughs>